Hello everyone, welcome to interview. And now I'm standing by with S O F M from W B G with us. So congratulations on this win. And my very first question is about your draft because it feels like in game two you have changed to a very aggressive composition, a very aggressive draft. So, but it seems like it didn't have a very good result for game two. So what went wrong in game two, and is there any feedback after that game? 那首先。啊，就是我们第二局的话，感觉就是我们选一个很就是很危险，然后要地线打得很好的一个组合吧。然后我们地线有点小输，然后配合不是很好吧。然后就是早上那个局就是有点难打吧。So I feels like in game two we actually have a very risky composition, risky draft. So we really it really needs us to build some leads from the laning phase. But unfortunately, we didn't manage to have a very good laning phase. We made a couple of mistakes here and there. So that's the reason for us to didn't manage to have a very good situation for game two. And now let's move on to game three because we feels game three really went back and forth. Uh, until the late game, and opponents team they have gotten two barrel, one stolen from you guys, and another one they just rushed them. So, what's your focus from you guys in the late game for game three? Um, 就是第三局的话，我们就是中期团战的时候，就是我们打团，能就是对面那个鄂温就是不在一级带线吧，然后他带线挺优势的，然后他不在团战的时候，我们就是站的不太紧，就是他们不是跟他们双七。如果不是跟他们的双 C 在一起的话，就是我们感觉一路团战感觉挺好，就是很好赢。So for game three in the late game, we would like to seek more opportunities to make the hard engagement on the opponent's team, especially when Green, this champion, is not in the、uh, in the battlefield because they would like to put Green to the side lanes to make the side lane push. And、um, but if Green and、uh, Green and this champion is not together with、uh, LWX and Gory, as we can have seek some very good opportunity to make the hard engage to try to get some leads in the team fight. So that's the plan from us in the late game for game three. And I want to. Talk a bit more on the last team fight for game three. It was a gorgeous coordination from you guys. So tell us more details about the last team fight in game three. 嗯，主要对面那个时候就是我们双 C 就是比对面领先太多了，然后对面就有一个鄂温就是特别厉害吧。然后他带线的时候，我们就找到一这波内部的机会，然后把团开起来，然后内部团感觉就是特别好赢。So at that time, um, Andrew as well as Huan Feng they got a lead in the Adam build. We got some lead on ourselves, and also Green is not on the battlefield. She's trying to do some、uh, sideline pushing. So we just seek that opportunity to make the hard engage, and luckily we were able to easily get the win for that team fight. And my very last question is about next matchup because next week you are going to face against EDG Edward Gaming. Definitely, they are on very high notes. So what's your thoughts towards the next matchup? 嗯，打 E D G 的话，在 E D G 现在我看起来状态就是特别好，然后感觉他们没有什么弱点嘛，然后感觉打他们还是要感觉还是感觉打不过吧，然后还要学习一下。So definitely, Edward Gaming they are on a very very high note, on very good momentum, and I feels like they don't have much weaknesses. So to be honest, I don't have the confidence in getting the win against them. We still have so many parts that we should learn from them, yeah. But we're still looking forward to the next matchup, and best of luck. And back to you guys. Bye bye. Bye.